So your business is up and running and you're really pleased with the progress you're making. But then you look around and you see that some people just seem to be that little bit more successful and you wonder what the secret is. Well, you know that you've got to be different in order to be successful. But there's also some really quick, easy habits that you can adopt that's going to help you to get from where you are to where you want to be. I'm Carol Evans, passion, purpose and profit queen from Planet Peacock Business Success Club and I want to share with you some really simple habits that you can adopt that's going to help you to get to the next level of success. And the place I'm going to start is with multitasking. Now as women we tend to think that multitasking is a skill, something to be proud of but actually it makes us much less efficient. And research shows that it actually leads to short-term memory loss. So it's not something we want to make a habit of. Instead, make a list of all the things you've got to do and then select what is the most important thing to do right now. Take 20, 25 minutes and focus all of your energy on that one task and get it done. Just imagine how amazing you're gonna feel when you get to the end of the day and you see tick, 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 tick on your to-do list. It's gonna be great and you're gonna make progress much more quickly. Now the second habit that I suggest and recommend that you adopt is to rise and shine, set the alarm, get up early. When you get up early, it puts you ahead. It puts you in front of all those people who are still in bed, who are enjoying their lying. It helps you to have a more productive day, to be more proactive. It helps you to set a real intention for your day. How do you want it to go? Talking about hours, I also think that as business owners, we tend to let our working hours drift along. They can either completely dominate our day with no start time, no real end time, or maybe we never even get round to starting if we're distracted by other things going on within our home environments. So make a habit of actually sitting down and diarising the hours that you're gonna work each week. And then you can communicate these as well to your friends and family so they know when to respect that time and not to interrupt. And you, you can get real balance by utilising the other hours for your home life and for your social life and just for you time. Then the next habit is for you to delegate. Now, if you've got your eye set on your big dreams and being super successful, it's gonna mean that you're gonna be doing one hell of a lot of tasks and you just can't get them all done. Your business is going to suffer. Even in the early days, even at the times when you think you just cannot afford it, it will make so much difference to your productivity, to your progress and to your success. If you just look at what are those tasks that you really don't like doing? What are the tasks that you find most hard to do? There's loads of freelancers available, loads of virtual assistants, and so you can buy in time really quite cheaply and you don't have to make that much commitment. You can just grow and take on more time as the business needs it, but Look at those tasks, focus your tasks, your time on the things that you do best and start by delegating some of those other things right now. So what percentage of your time do you actually spend working on your business as opposed to working in your business? Now the one thing that you cannot delegate is strategy, review, analysing. These are all things that you have to do as business owner. Yet they might not be the sexiest thing to do, but they're the things that are gonna help you make the progress you want. So just make a habit of just scheduling in even something like one hour per week. You can manage that and see how much you can actually progress your business. Rather than going round and round in circles, you'll be looking to see what works best for you and being able to adjust the plan so it's really super effective for you. Now you've heard the saying, feel the fear and do it anyway. And this is something as business owners we have to get really used to. It never ever goes away. It doesn't matter how successful you become. Each time you up level in business or in life, you're going to feel fear. This is our way of keeping ourselves safe. But nothing good, nothing worthwhile comes from within our comfort zones. 
We have to be brave. We have to take consistent, relevant action, even if it scares us. Now, my final point is to stop time wasting. Have a look around. Be honest. What are you wasting your time doing each and every day? How many times do you reach for your phone? How many times do you check email? How many times do you message people back straight away? Think about how, how much time that is cumulatively over the day. But not just that, look at how it affects your actual focus. You're distracting yourself from the task in hand. This quite often means that you've got to go right back to the start and start again because you've lost all track. So just get into the habit, just become disciplined, turn off the phone, shut down email, focus on the task, and then just set aside times where you're going to check Facebook, you're going to check email. Now, if you adopt all of these habits, you will make great progress. They're really, really simple. They don't cost anything. And if you do, you will get to the place where you want to get to.